How's it going guys? We have a past level question for MSK Amino for step one. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, and me, HL, man underscore medical. Links down below for me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Not sure, but three year old boys had persistent left arm pain for the past two weeks. Physical exam shows no abnormalities. X ray and MRI are performed and shown osteolytic soft tissue mass. Biopsy shows an infiltration of sheet like pale eosinoph eosinophilic cells with bean-shaped nuclei, very verbose pathologic descriptor that I basically just plagiarized from the NBME exam, essentially, okay? I mean, so if you think this is weird, don't take it up with me, take it up with the NBME. The cells test positive for CD1A. Electron microscopy shows Burbeck granules. This is the past level component. Some of you watching this clip are like, Mike, that's so easy. Okay, well, I mean, sure, I could have left this stuff out but I'm not trying to make this obscure. I want to teach you a consolidated high yield point and not waste your fucking time. So the type of cell most likely involved in this patient's condition normally has which the following functions. And then you see this image here, you say, no, I don't fucking looking at. And then if you couldn't, if you can, using your phone, whatever device you're on, if, if you can make out that there are three black arrowheads that are pointing to these rod shaped structures, these are Burbeck granules. Now, immediately, some of you are going to be confused because when we read about these in resources, uh, including probably stuff I've put out in the MSK PDF. Uh, these are classically described as tennis racket shaped. However, they can also be rod shaped. And there is an NBME question on one of the newer forms where they show you an image, an electron micrograph in Langerhans cell histiocytosis, which is the diagnosis here. And they are not tennis racket shaped. Okay. So I've looked at the image. I'm like, where the fuck are they? I don't see tennis racket shaped cells. OMG, they can be rod shaped. So let's just whip through the answer choices here for Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Choice A, activation is CD40, wrong fucking answer. So this would be impaired in hyper IgM syndrome. So you have CD40 ligand on the Th2 CD4 plus T cell that will bind to CD40 on the B cell. That interaction between CD40L and CD40 is necessary for isotype class switching, which all that means is changing your antibodies from IgM into the other types, IgD, IgG, IgE, IgA. That's isotype class switching. And we normally need this CD40 ligand, uh, CD40 interaction uh, for this to occur. If that's fucked up, we get hyper IgM syndrome. The US simile will ask that. I don't want to spend 14 minutes on it. Point is, Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, antigen presentation, correct answer. So uh, I purposely put this as the second answer choice because I got an angry DM maybe like 12 hours ago with someone saying, Mike, you always put the correct answer choice at the end. Okay, relax, All right? So it's the second answer choice this time. So linger hand cells, you need to know, are a type of dendritic cell found in the skin. You say, well, what the fuck is a dendritic cell? A dendritic cell is what's referred to as an antigen presenting cell, which means that its job is to phagocytose antigen and then migrate to the lymph nodes slash spleen and present that antigen to T cells. Okay. So Langerhans cell found in the skin, it's a type of dendritic cell. Uh, it's an antigen presenting cell. So it contains Burbeck granules, tennis racket or rod shaped granules and Holy shit, they're CD1A positive. Very buzzy type stuff, okay? So that's what you need to know for Langerhans cell histiocytosis. You can also get lytic lesions. I'd say that's the other point you need to know, all right? So you can get uh, lytic lesions of bone plus CD1A and positivity of Burbeck granules. Let's just whip through the other answer choices here. So just some obscure uh, idiopathic condition characterized by uh, loss of bone density. Okay, classically occurs in kids, can occur in adults. So choice C, bone formation, wrong fucking answer, would be osteoblasts. Okay, uh, so osteoblasts build bone. You could be aware, and in, in, in contrast, of course, bone resorption, that's osteoclasts, break down bone. So you should know that PTH will bind to its receptor on osteoblasts, which sounds paradoxical because PTH is going to cause calcium leaching out of the bone. P However, PTH will bind to its receptor on osteoblasts, which in turn, the osteoblast will express rank L, which will bind to rank on the osteoclast, which the latter will induce bone resorption. Both of these, wrong fucking answers.
choice C optimization phagocytosis is the wrong fucking answer. So some astute students here will say, wait, I don't get it, Michael. Didn't you just say that Langerhans cells, if they're a dendritic cell, antigen presenting cell, and that their job is phagocytosis? How does that mean? Why is this wrong then? Because phagocytosis, okay, well, optimization's fucking wrong. So optimization means you are tagging slash flagging an antigen, such as a bacterial cell, with an immunoglobulin. That's what optimization is. You're tagging something with IgG or C3B, okay, it can be complement protein. And that tagging is going to signal it for heightened slash accelerated phagocytosis usually, okay? So this answer choice, optimization phagocytosis in quotes, is actually how we clear uh, encapsulated organisms by the spleen, okay? That's why if we lose the spleen, which has 50% of our uh, immune system's reservoir of macrophages, we have increased susceptibility to the encapsulated organisms which require optimization phagocytosis. Okay, so this is a buzzy answer choice for encapsulated organisms. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.